back. This is another episode of Dan's Planning. Thank you to all those of you who watched the first couple. Um, were apparently such a hit that they wanted to do more. And to help me out, I brought along Scott Sloan, one of our refrigeration engineers. He is the godfather of the Quest 506. Now, some of you might not know what the Quest 506 is. It is considered to be the most energy efficient dehumidifier in the world. And Scott's here to explain that to us. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thanks, Dan. So, as we sit here by this nice, warm, cozy fire, why don't you tell me what makes the 506 different? What makes it more efficient? Or are you just lying to me? A good way, to, good way to show you is probably, I got a, I've got a sample, a sample coil right here that yeah, we can get, probably take a look. So I see a coil. I see another coil. I see three coils? This is a three coil system. So what we end up doing, we end up taking our refrigerant, bringing it, bring it into this first coil here. So while the refrigerant's coming into the first coil. So the air is going this way. The air is coming that way. So we take that, take that nice warm 80 degree air and we take the edge off. Oh, no, 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 no. This is about 90 degrees right now. Okay. <laughs> it might be a nice cool, uh, cool day outside, but it's getting plenty warm in here. So I take this nice warm air and I hit this first coil. Right. So what we do is take, and after it hits that first coil, it cools the air down, but also warms the energy up, energy inside that evaporator up. Right. And it starts using almost 40% of the energy that, that refrigerant has available. Meantime, the air is coming through and it gets cooled off by the evaporator down, back down to 55 degrees. So I go through the first coil and I cool down a little bit. Do I do any moisture removal at that point? We don't take any moisture out on that first coil. That's just going ahead and get all that easy energy to, to drop the temperature so down. This is, my, this is my pre-cooling coil. Yeah, that's our pre right. coil. Then I hit the evaporator and it cools the rest of the way down. Cools, the, cools that air down to somewhere around 55 degrees, 60 degrees, and it starts pulling out water. So right here, how cold is my air right here? So Between the second and third coil. So we've got 50, 55, 60 degree air coming out of that evaporator, especially when it's 90 degrees outside like we are in front of the uh, fireplace. <laughs> in front of the fireplace. I mean, engineers were hot, but now we're really hot. Okay, so... I've got 55 degree air coming here and it hits this third coil. So my refrigerant has some of it's evaporated here. Yep. And now I'm dropping into this third coil. What happens to this third coil? It's like an energy drink. It re, it re energizes this whole evaporator and it takes it, it gets as much possible energy as it can hold. I'm reusing, I'm recycling the refrigerant in the third coil. So now where does that refrigerant go from the third coil? And then it goes straight into the evaporator. So now we've got fully regenerated refrigerant coming out of that third coil and we use all the energy we possibly can into that into the evaporator. Okay, so Scott, we established before that our Quest 506 and our other products are two, three, sometimes even four times more efficient than other dehumidifiers. So what? That saves me a little electricity, right? Saves you a little electricity, but more importantly, it also saves you a lot of heat. If you're, if you're at eight pints per kilowatt hour like the 506, that means the temperature coming out of that dehumidifier is somewhere between four and eight degrees colder than our competitors. So you can turn down your air conditioner. Your air conditioner has to work, it doesn't have to work as much with the 506s and all of that, all of these more efficient systems that we have at Quest. Are there any other benefits that the multi-coil design gives us over your typical LGR design with that air to air heat exchanger and air going everywhere? One of the real big advantages of this is, is it'll handle static a lot better than a lot of the air to air heat exchangers. So by using the multi-coil design, I'm building up less static pressure, which means a smaller fan, less energy consumption, less heat added to the airflow, and better performance by pushing that air down the ductwork. And I'm going in from one side and out the other. Not some kind of crazy contraption that's bringing air in one side and out the other. That's going to make install a lot easier. Be the quickest installs in the world. Beautiful. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Dance Planning. I especially want to thank Scott here for joining us by the fire to talk about the multi-coil design and why the Quest multi-coil design will save you energy, will save you money, will save you heat load on your facility, will give you the best performance for your dehumidification needs and something that is also easy to install. And now we're out of here because this is really hot. Go. Thanks, man.